hey everybody, I'm Lily, and this is Our World. I'm just looking at some old family photo albums. I love looking at pictures. I also love taking pictures. Pictures of my family and friends, pictures of plants and animals, pictures of anything that catches my eye. And when I'm finished taking pictures, I like to put them on my computer and add music and special effects and show them to all my friends. Did you know that NASA takes pictures of all sorts of things too? Faraway galaxies, planets, the moon, even Earth. Some of my favorite pictures of the Earth were taken by astronauts orbiting our world on the International Space Station. Here, check out this video I found on the NASA website. This is astronaut Jeff Williams talking about the view and the kind of pictures astronauts take when on orbit. We do many things on board the space station, but one of the unique things is to view the Earth from a very unique vantage point. We travel around the Earth in orbits that last 90 minutes at 17,500 miles an hour. We cover the majority of the Earth. The Earth is full of an incredible abundance and variety of weather and terrain. Just so you know, terrain refers to the features of the land. And we never tire of uh, looking at that terrain, making observations, um, making photography of the terrain of the, of the different mountains and the glaciers and the deserts, weather patterns, the horizons, the sunsets and sun, sunrises. Um, it's just an uh, incredible variety of things to view on the Earth from the ISS. Wow, what amazing pictures of Earth. And the astronauts pass over all those places in just a few minutes. It would take me a long time to get from glaciers to the desert. What else do you think the astronauts can see from on orbit? Let's find out. We can see cities, we can see large bridges and structures and that sort of thing. With a large lens like this, just handheld photography, we can see things like the pyramids. The details in cities, uh, I love to capture the very congested uh, centers of European cities that go back to the medieval days. Or uh, the details of a riverbed as it rises and falls during the seasons of the year, or the details of a glacier. Another example would be the details of sand dunes and the incredible variety of geometric shapes uh, of those sand dunes around the world. We can also catch things like uh, ocean currents, uh, especially in the sun glint when the sun is reflecting off the ocean or the water below as we pass over. So all of that just uh, it, it provides a very rich uh, subject matter for viewing the Earth. Boy, I can't wait until I grow up and can work at NASA. Do you know there are people working there right now who started out in programs as students? Maybe I'll get a job in mission control. So I can be one of the first ones to see those neat pictures. Now we're not the only ones that can see uh, the photography and uh, the view out the window from ISS. You can too. There's a couple of ways you can do it. All of the photography we take is uh, present on the internet uh, and you can find it by searching for astronaut earth photography and then go into that database and search that for perhaps uh, areas around where you live. Oh, I should bookmark that site. I'll bet there's tons of beautiful pictures on there. We also have a student program called EarthCam and I encourage you to go on nasa.gov and, and find EarthCam and see what products that students around the world have taken by programming a camera, a camera that we put in a window here. Uh, uh, it's a camera just like this, and it often has this lens on it, um, 180 millimeter lens. We put it in the camera, connect it up to a computer, and the students that participate in EarthCam are able to program the time that they want the camera to take a picture, and they can predict where the ISS, where the International Space Station will be over land at any given time. So if you know that, and you know the ISS is, uh, is passing over a feature of the Earth that uh, the students are interested in, and they know the exact time that they're passing it, they program the camera and take the picture. So you too can go on the internet and look through the products on the EarthCam program. Wow, I'm gonna have to tell my big sister about EarthCam. She's in middle school now. Maybe her class can get involved in taking pictures from the International Space Station. So what did we learn today? We learned that Earth has many different kinds of terrain. 
and astronauts take pictures of all of it. We learned that astronauts can see human-built structures from the International Space Station. And we learned that students can take pictures from the ISS through the EarthCam program. To find out more about a day in the life of an astronaut or the EarthCam program, visit www.nasa.gov slash education slash TFS. See you next time on Our World. Say cheese.